guys, I'm the Sky Spy. And it's the Kill Kill. And welcome to the new Let's Play Co op versus something. Not a versus. Not a versus. We're doing this together, unlike the other two Let's Plays where I obliterated him. You can chill out now. <laughs> we're working together. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, we're doing the Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Soul Link. Yeah, if you knew us from back in the day, back in the Mirror Skeptics days, we did a Pokemon Emerald Soul Link that did not turn out well. No, we got what, 19 episodes in? Something like that? Yeah. We got pretty far. Then we got tired. <laughs> yeah, we got like two gyms away from finishing and then <laughs> done. Yeah. So we're starting again, and uh, hopefully, if this actually turns out well, we might go through a whole lot of other Pokemon games with this, with the Soul Link rules. Alright, so for this series, we're doing a Soul Link, a Pokemon, well, the actual name is a Pokemon, a uh, randomized Nuzlocke Soul Link, whatever. So, we're gonna call this Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green Soul Link. A lot of you guys might not know the rules, so we're gonna explain them right here. First off are the standard Nuzlocke rules, if you haven't played a Pokemon Nuzlocke before. Um, there's really only three rules. The first rule is that you must catch the first Pokemon that you encounter in any area. So, uh, if you enter a new city or a new route, you have to catch the very first Pokemon that you encounter. If you kill that Pokemon, or if you fail to encounter it, if it runs away, uh, then you are not able to encounter any other Pokemon for that route. The second rule is that any Pokemon that faints in battle is dead. You can't revive it, you can't heal it up, you can't use it again. That Pokemon is considered a Dunzo, so you're gonna have to be very careful with your Pokemon making sure not to kill them. And a third rule is kind of an unspoken rule, but uh, just to get a little bit more affectionate and kind with your Mons, you're gonna want to name them all. It can be nice, it can be stupid, but basically just name your Pokemon for dumb reasons probably, but yeah. So those are the standard Nuzlocke rules, but we're complicating it with a, a little bit with good old Soul Link rules. The Soul Link rules. Oh, it's very interesting. It's where it gets a little bit convoluted. We added a few rules of our own and kind of tweaked a bit. But, um, and there are some, like, sub rules that you'll probably encounter when we actually do it. Like, there's the dupes clause where if you already have a Pokemon on your team, then blah, blah, blah. But you will figure that out the second we encounter it. We don't make rules up as we go for the most part. But if, if we encounter it, we'll tell you about it while we're playing while playing the game. But, on to the Soul Link rules. First rule is, once in a new area, the first encounter of both players are linked together. So if you, you the, so one person, you rock, paper, scissors, you're like, yo, I'm gonna go first. And you, he goes in, he cat, he gets his Pokemon, he gets, he gets the first encounter. Whatever he gets is his encounter. The second person has, to, whatever their first encounter is, links up with that. And the other part of that is, you know how, in the Nuzlocke rules, Pokemon Faints is dead. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's but, all right, it's cool, it's chill, I like it too. <laughs> but if if the Pokemon that's linked with, uh, the Pokemon that's linked with, if either of them die, it's dead from both teams. So that means if he loses a Mega Charizard, which is definitely in Fire Red Leaf Green, you're right. Then you're I right. lose, then I lose my Caterpie. Or yeah, which way means he's gonna want to keep his Caterpie alive. If you yeah. both agree that Mega Charizard so, is useful is useful to both of us. So we gotta. So, like, if he catches a Mega Charizard, I catch a Mega Charizard. If I catch a Caterpie, he catches a Caterpie, kinda. Kinda. Not really. And kinda. also remember, this is randomized, so it's not this gonna be like the normal. So it's not, it could be, it's not gonna be Mega Charizard, but it could be something crazy. It's not gonna be only first gen mods. Yeah. Second rule is if one Pokemon in a pair is placed in the PC, the other must as well. So, like, with this whole rule, if it dies, both die. If one goes in the PC, the other must also go in the PC. They're completely linked together and they cannot, they have to be the same place every time. Next rule. The two Pokemon in a pair must be opposite genders. They gotta get their lovin's on. Uh, if a Pokemon is genderless, it doesn't matter. So, like, most uh, legendaries are genderless. They can link with basically any Pokemon. Yeah, so uh, if they're a tranny, just just whatever. It doesn't matter. You can't, you can't label them. We, we accept um, all! <laughs> exactly. And then, next rule is the two Pokemon cannot have the same primary typing. So, let's say you got yourself a Kyogre and a Piloswine. Well, Pillow Swine's main, uh, or Pillow Swine, I think, is primary ground. 
It's only the first one, not the, not the ice typing. I don't know which one's primary, but whatever the ice typing is. And then Kyogre is obviously water. Now let's say you got a you got a Quillfish. Well, Kyogre is water. Quillfish might be water poison, but since its primary typing typing is water, they cannot go together. Uh, and that means you'd have to re-encounter. If it's poison, if its main typing was poison, they could go together. It's only the primary typings that matter, not the secondary typings. Um, and this also goes to the next uh, rule, which is no two Pokemon across both of the teams can be the same primary typing. So let's say you got that Quillfish and Kyogre, you can't get like, if you want that to stay on the team, you can't get like a Tentacruel Entei pair. Even if that you can catch that pair, that pair works together, but they can't be in the same team as that Kyogre Quillfish. And uh, this... I just want to butt in real quick, if say for example that Kyogre Quillfish pair dies, then we have a water fire spot open for our team, so then we can switch in that Entei, uh, that pair. And, and as I'm saying this, I realize that of the, I just said Kyogre and Quillfish don't work, and I used it as an example. Ky Kyogre and Quillfish don't work! Stop! Ky Ky let's say the Kyogre Pillis one. Either way, you can't you can't have two of the same primary typing, so it's not not only have... in a link across the whole team, yeah. Yeah, in the, across the whole team. The next next rule is if one player does not manage to capture their first encounter in an area, let's say I I'm use let's think of another random Pokemon. Let's say I catch a Yuxi and he can't he finds himself a little old Pidgey and he can't catch the Pidgey, uh, then I don't get to use the Yuxi. It's that simple. If one person doesn't catch their Pokemon, the other person does not get to use it because it has nothing to link with. Uh, no link. No link! They forfeit that Pokemon for the area completely. Uh, and then the last rule, which is the one we kind of made up, and we did this for Emerald since we had some major troubles in the beginning of it, and... Th thank like you for letting us be easy. <laughs> I feel like we might need it in this one as well. Basically, this is a little weird, but if the pair does not work, if we get our encounter and the pair does not work in our team at that very moment, then we get to re-encounter. This is only, this is only on the first six pairs. After, not, not like once we get a full team, but once we get, once we catch six pairs, so six routes of us actually successfully catching a pair. It doesn't matter if the pair dies, or if we don't use it, no matter. As long as the pair, once we catch a pair that works in our team at that moment, once we get to six, that could be two episodes, that could be two billion episodes. Whenever that happens, we no longer get to do the rerolls, and it's back to the normal Nuzlocke Soul Link rules, but... Those those six pairs. Wait a second, I completely forgot what I was about to say. Don't don't get too confused about this last rule because it will only be in effect for the beginning of the game, just to make it a little, just to make that starting push a little bit easier on us. Uh, but don't worry, like um, all the other rules should be easy enough to understand, and that's what really matters. So yeah. Yeah. So that's that is all the rules to this upcoming Let's Play that you'll be seeing on both of our cooperative channels. Episode one is coming to both of our channels. Episode two on his. Episode three on mine. Episode four on his, and so on. Yeah. So all the evens on my channel, all the odds on his channel, until we get all the way to the finale. Yeah. Unlike the other verses that you might have seen, it might have been weird because it was like three episodes on my channel, like four. This is gonna be a lot more than like a seven episode series like we did with the last two. This is gonna oh, be. Yeah. This could be 20 episodes, this could be 30, this could be 60 episodes! Wow! Yeah, exactly! But, however long it is, it's definitely longer, so it's gonna feel a lot more like a real series, unlike a short speed through, uh, speed run versus. Yeah. That would win, obviously. <laughs> And um, the great thing about this is, is it, it isn't just us playing an ordinary game either. We're playing this with such uh, like interesting rules, and we need to make absolutely sure that if we get a good pair, we need to make sure not to let it die. Or if he gets an amazing mon and it's paired with a crap mon for me, I just need to make sure not to let mine die. Like there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. So really hope you guys enjoy. Really hope you guys get invested in this series because it is going to be lasting quite a long time, and um, hopefully this will. Turn out a lot better than our last one. In fact, I I have high hopes. I very much believe it will. It will. We're gonna do it. We're gonna win. Yeah. And we actually know how to YouTube now. Yeah. And we went through puberty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That's it. All right. So we will see you guys later. <laughs>